Getting started with Autodesk Inventor. There's two ways we can start Inventor. The first way is going down to the Start menu, clicking on the Start menu, going to All Programs, and then once you're in All Programs, uh, you can go to Autodesk, and then once you're in Autodesk, you can go down and look for the Inventor. And so I have Inventor 2015, I can click on that folder, and then once we have that, we want to click on Autodesk Inventor Professional 2015 English. Now this is a lot of clicks, it's not the normal way of doing it, but the nice thing about this method is, it is this way in every operating system and in every computer. So it's always there. However, uh, if we have a shortcut icon on the desktop, uh, the easiest way is just to double click that. I'm going to double click it. Mind you, the first time you launch uh, Autodesk Inventor, um, it is uh, going to be very slow on the first time. Uh, it's called the first install where it builds all its files. So you got to be a little bit patient. Uh, and it is a very big program, so it does take a while to load up in particular. Um, Inventor loads up, uh, and the first thing it's going to load up is going to be the desktop analytics program window. And this is a program that collects information from your system and sends it back to Autodesk to help improve um, the product. And uh, you can choose to do that if you like um, or not. And then it will then go into a, the initial screen of the Autodesk Inventor. Um, and the Autodesk Inventor um, is kind of a bare bones screen. Now you can see it does take some time. And then uh, once once we get there, uh, you'll find that uh, we have a very um, small ribbon, uh, essentially, and we have a, a, a tab saying uh, get started. And, uh, and that's where we get started with a new or open a project. Um, and we also have some uh, help and some learning tools as well. Um, so uh, we're going to pause and we're going to wait for Inventor to launch. There, now that Autodesk is launched, uh, we come to the initial screen, and in the initial screen, we can start with a new part, uh, we can start with a new assembly, or we can start with a new drawing. We also have the new button up here, or we can create a new uh, item, and we can go to open an existing uh, inventor, uh, or we can go to different projects. Um, we can open samples if we're connected to the internet. Uh, we can go to and get some learning and some help and some what's new in this particular feature of Inventor. And so um, I'm going, going over here and say let's start with new. And when I start with new, it brings me up with a dialog box. And this dialog box then uh, allows me different templates that I can choose. And uh, in the templates then, I can choose different parts. I can sh choose a sheet metal part and it goes into my sheet metal module, or I can go right with a standard part. I can go to, into an, uh, a standard assembly, or I can go into a weldment assembly. Uh, I can go to create a drawing uh, into my drawing module, or I can go into my presentation module by clicking on uh, the standard uh, presentation. Uh, I can choose these templates in English, or I can choose them in metric. Uh, if I want a mold design, I can go right to mold design as well. So we typically will be in English uh, or metric sometimes. And uh, so I'll go, I'll start with, uh, let's go with a standard part. That's where we usually start, and I'll say create. 